What's good, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another reaction video today. And today we're going to be reacting to another Facebook post. Yes, sir. These new jacks out here, man. Don't look. I'm, I'm telling you guys. First, let me let me let me get some chocolate milk real quick. I get I gotta I gotta I gotta get this in. Chocolate milk does the body good <coughs> anyway let me tell you guys look I, I am for you guys i'm 100 for the new people for the women for everybody that's interested in coming into this industry to come in and do something that they wasn't even used to doing before this is a whole new realm of opportunity of work stuff that you're not just used to you know but I'm going to have to tell you, all right, first thing first, again, as I said before, you got to pay your dues. So in order to pay your dues to get what you want, you got to start at the bottom somewhere. And you might have to start with the train, okay? Now, there's going to be times that you and the trainer is not going to see eye to eye on things right that's why i tell you guys in the in the beginning that when you come on a trainer's truck don't bring everything in the kitchen sink all right bring your gold bag hygiene bag and your book bag that's all you need that's all you ever need that you don't need nothing else you know you're going to need a change of clothes you're going to need some hygiene products and then you're going to need your 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 computer stuff and all that other stuff right that's it that's it and maybe one of the mesh bags for your dirty clothes all right that's it that's all you need that's all you need when you get on the trainer's truck all right you when you step through the door and bring everything in the kitchen sink you're already on the trainer's bad side i'm just letting you know already Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. You're going to get on there and, hey, what's going on, guys? Help me get all this shit up there. And the trainer going to look at you like, where are you going to put all this shit at? Because all that shit is going on the top bunk with you. So you're already on the trainer's bad side with that. So don't. When you get into the truck, here's the idea of getting along with each other. No politics. All right? Because everybody got, got heavy views on the they they favorite presidential number all right so no politics no religion let me repeat that no religion talk you know you could be one way and then that person could be another way you know don't talk to religion all right because your religion has you doing one thing their religion has them doing another thing all right no color talk like you know black people does this and, and white people does that none none of that talk the conversation should sorely be on you training in the truck okay that's where the conversation should always be you training on the truck how do i do this what do i need to do this what do i need to do when i get up to the shipper what do i need to do when i get to the receiver um how's my biking how's my how's my driving how's you know how i'm doing how do i put the information into the qualcomm if there is one all right that's where the conversations should always be while you're on the trainer's truck now if y'all get like a friendly vibe going on and everything and all like that that's good that's cool get that vibe going but don't forget the reason why you're there because the trainer is definitely not going to forget the reason why they there now don't get me wrong there is some fucked up trainers out here majority of them is just looking for a meal ticket and that's you once you on the truck they get paid more once you drive they get your miles once you do anything in they truck they get it they double their paycheck because they got you on the truck some of them only cares about the paycheck they don't care about you whether you get it or not okay now there's some trainers out there that's do they honestly want to help you and give you all of the knowledge that they can get but they can only give it to you if you're willing to learn okay if you're willing to learn it they're willing to give it 
But unfortunately, we have this problem. My trainer had went off on me and started cussing me out. Though she had apologized, I was on the phone with my friend and she had heard the entire conversation. If my friend wasn't on the phone, I would have cussed her back out. Like, I don't have to put up with this. Yes, I do hear her conversation, but I don't have to respond to it like she doesn't mind. She gotten upset because I was telling my friend that she was that she be telling me the directions like I can't read. I have the GPS on, so I don't need her to tell me which way to go. Hmm. Let's 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 deep dive into this right quick. Now, she said that the trainer had went off on her and started cussing her out, even though she had a, she had apologized. Hmm. Okay. What, what did she cuss you out for? Well, she cussed you out because she heard you talking about her in the back to her friend. That would trigger anybody. I mean, if you're in the back talking shit about the trainer in the truck so that they can hear you, then that's going to trigger them to respond. You think you're going to just talk shit about the trainer and they're not going to respond to it? You can't do that. You can't do that. All right. Maybe the, the, the trainer is, is teaching you things that you need to know out here on the road. Now you say about, you, you said it's about you talking to your friend about, about giving the directions. Well, it's the trainer's job, especially if the trainer been to those places already. They have a better idea on how to get there. So they're going to give you the directions. Maybe the GPS will take you all the way around to have you to take 30. But the trainer like, yo, don't take 30. Take I-80 and we'll be straight there. Listen and learn. That's all you got to do. Now, if you're going to complain about the trainer, then don't do it inside the truck. Don't do it around the trainer. Now, some of these guys in these comments says, yo, I'd rather for you to... Uh, complain about me in front of my face okay that's that's kind of good but then the relationship between trainer and trainee is is going to be deteriorated from there y'all not going to like being in the same space because this is where y'all at y'all not going nowhere you in the middle of timbuk fucking two in a motherfucking in a, in a motherfucking cab that's no bigger than a motherfucking bathroom okay so y'all going to have to find some kind of way to, to get along with each other. And by what and by me saying that to say this, keep your comments and your feelings to yourself until you get back to the terminal. And then you can turn around and ask, yo, I, I want another trainer. All right. You want another trainer? No problem. OK. Let's see what some of the comments has to say about this. Right here, this commenter says, right, I'm confused. How are you going to talk about somebody and be surprised when they come out of their bag? I'm not excusing the trainer's behavior because she's because she is the trainer, but she also a human too. Male trainers. I had two bad experiences with female trainers. Switched to a guy and it was smooth sailing. I'm sorry you're going through that training is stressful enough without this crap now some people can vibe with female trainers some people can vibe with male trainers what i want to know in the comments below who is much more easier to get along with females or males and i'm i'm coming from a female point of view all right can a female get along with the male trainers better or can a female get along with the female trainers better let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe she's giving directions along with the GPS to help, not necessarily thinking you can't read. Do not be offended when it's very hard to train and have to and have to have patience to teaching new drivers. Training is stressful for people that's 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 training, that's doing the job because they have to train you, the new driver to do the right things that they need to know. 
sometimes the new drivers always come up in the come up in the driver's seat thinking that they know everything and they don't need the trainer to constantly you know tell them what to do but you're going to need that you're going to need that constant that 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 constant over the shoulder look to make sure that you're doing it right because once you be on the road by yourself then you're gonna yo you're gonna go back to what the trainer had taught you respect your trainer respect that she literally hands you her life the moment you get behind the wheel she invites you into her home which is the truck gives you a chance at a career that she's already living and that no book can teach you respect that woman enough that she's she's has enough patience to do what she does she literally the gate between you and your success respect that woman even if you don't like her for you to come on and i mean come on here and vent about it just pisses me off because she did nothing wrong walk away from that truck if you don't think if you don't like the way she trains but don't disrespect her for giving you a chance and on top of it all get off the goddamn phone if you were in my truck that phone would be in the bunk that's what's up obama out that's what's up man mm. that commenter that that right there the best commenter that's what's up so listen here all right when you when you coming out here male or female definitely respect the trainer for what they do because they don't have to do it especially the good ones the bad ones yeah i understand but the good ones that's that's trying to do it and you giving them you giving them some kind of pause come on man come on man this is something that you want to do this is something that they want to do work together and get the goal done all right if you like this video man yo leave a like it does help the channel a lot it does work it does what it's supposed to do thank you guys for watching don't forget to follow me on tiktok and instagram until next time everybody y'all take it easy bye for now and i'll come back at you with another one peace i just have two more words to say obama out <laughs>